my name is Andrew Klobuchar, and I'm going to be a professor for this online course in electronic literature. This is week one, and I want to give you a formal, official introduction to the course itself. Uh, a few short comments here on video, uh, where I can explain a little bit about themes, some of the topics, some of the ideas I want to explore this term, uh, but primarily just to give you a formal and official welcome to HSS 403, Section 461. I'll also take a little bit of time to go over the syllabus and outline very briefly. Uh, it's downloadable, it's available right here on the Moodle site. Uh, if you don't see it, uh, the link should be just above this video itself uh, in the, uh, the first part of the course. Uh, download it uh, if you haven't already and open it up somewhere on your hard drives, uh, and um, I'll point out a few things that I want you to look at specifically. If you've got any questions at all, of course, feel free to email me, uh, and I can give you more specific instructions uh, about the course itself, uh, the outline, the curriculum, and uh, the assignments. All right, well, let's move on from there. So again, I want to welcome you to the course, Electronic Literature, and acknowledge that you probably all have, at some level, a very significant question about what it is we're actually studying. I mean, let's ask the first question. What is electronic literature? What are we going to be reading? What kind of texts are we going to be looking at? Um, this is a very, very important question, a valid question, and although I'm not going to be able to answer it categorically, in the sense that I can give you a set of um, very specific categories of the types of texts we'll be looking at. That will come up and we will get a better understanding. Um, but I just want to go back to that first initial uh, query. What is electronic literature? What, how am I supposed to um, interpret the type of work that we'll be looking at in this class? And to that question, um, I really want to offer a very, very simple explanation, a very simple proposition. For this class, all we're really looking at are works of writing um, in any kind of genre that have been composed specifically to be read via a computer. Uh, that could be an iPad device, that could be a desktop, that could be a laptop, anything that actually is processing a program to enable us to navigate or engage with a work of literary fiction. So right away, with this kind of definition, we can instantly distinguish the types of work we'll be looking at in this class with something, let's say, published and distributed via uh, a Kindle uh, or um, an iReader. Um, in those cases, these are books that were uh, specifically presented for print but have then have been translated for the screen, you know, just to make it more efficient. Uh, rather than carrying around five or six or seven books, of course, even I find uh, the idea of a Kindle or using a Kindle application on an iPad to read um, extremely efficient. But those aren't specifically the types of works we'll be looking at for this course. For this course, we're looking at authors, writers, artists, who literally said, I'm going to write a piece of work that can only be read on screen. I'm going to use the advantages of computer processes, computer applications, in order to produce a very specific kind of literary work. So if we keep that in mind, we'll already have a fairly um, simple, fairly fundamental idea of what it is to write and read electronic literature. And if you have any questions about that, we can take that up in any of the discussion forums or um, via email. Okay, so what we're looking at here is uh, essentially uh, a PDF of the course syllabus and outline. This is a document that you have access to. All you have to do is go to the Moodle site, and if you haven't already, uh, simply click on the link that's in the uppermost window there titled uh, Outline and Syllabus, and you should be uh, able to download the PDF. So you can have it up on your screen, just as I have it here, ready for you. And 
a six-page document. I obviously don't have time to go over every detail uh, in it, but I just want to point out um, a few things that I uh, think you should look at very carefully uh, and as soon as you can. Uh, first of all, we've got some basic contact information. That's my phone number there at work, 596-5724, my email, uh, and the time that I'm going to be online working on the course uh, itself. That's every Tuesday, every Thursday from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock. So if you've got any questions that you need an immediate reply to, those would be the times to contact me right there, Tuesday and Thursday, 9 to 11. All right, well, the syllabus also has uh, an outline of the course format, general objectives. This is a text that you'll see uh, already online. What I'd like to do is just draw your attention to the assignments, which uh, begin here on page two. Uh, you should see that we've got, uh, under the assignment breakdown, 10 uh, official assignments that we're going to be doing over the term. Most of them are going to be done online. A few of them are going to be done um, as uh, separate documents that you submit. Um, form discussions, the summaries, these are uh, online. They'll be distributed throughout the course. The presentations, we've got a wiki assignment online, that's the Moodle uh, uh, site here, and at the end of the course we have a, uh, an electronic digital project uh, that you'll be submitting uh, right at the very end. Two written assignments, uh, the literary critique, which is going to be due somewhere around midterm, and of course your final research paper that's due right at the end of the course uh, on the 15th week. Uh, we'll be starting it probably around week 8 and it will be due uh, week 15. Uh, very important uh, is uh, my uh, brief summaries of the assignments. I've gone into a little bit of detail for each assignment. I do recommend that you read through uh, every one of the assignments. Uh, if you've got any questions or any concerns at all, please, uh, now's the time to contact me uh, here uh, during week one, and I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, do keep in mind deadlines are important. Um, if you do miss uh, an assignment, you'll need to notify me uh, because in many cases the actual assignment windows will be automatically closed down after the due date. So do keep uh, a steady uh, awareness uh, when things are due uh, and try to uh, get them in on time. Uh, we've got a list of texts. Good news here. Most of the texts are going to be distributed through the Moodle site. Uh, none of them, uh, well, I should say one of them, uh, you'll be responsible for your, uh, getting uh, on your own, but the rest of them, I'll be giving them to you uh, via the Moodle site uh, or links on the Moodle site. And then finally, we have uh, a table, a three-column table here that constitutes our course syllabus. Three categories here. The date uh, corresponds to the topics and readings that we'll be looking at that week, uh, and then there are the associated assignments in the third column. Again, I recommend going over each of the 15 weeks uh, just to take a look at uh, what's due uh, and remind yourself at the beginning of every week just what we'll be looking at. All right. Uh, well, with that, um, I'm going to go back to uh, the uh, general introduction and uh, then we'll call it a wrap and uh, we'll get into our work. Okay. And that should pretty much bring us full circle here in this first introductory video. We're going to end it here, and I invite you to uh, participate in the very first form discussion uh, that's going to be available online on the Moodle site. Uh, again, let me wish you all uh, best of luck this term, and uh, again to emphasize how excited I am to be working with each and every one of you uh, online with uh, our uh, course material. Thank you.